Let's be honest, Auburn fans, this first official weekend for January of 2023 was pretty jam-packed from basketball revenge games and, of course, tons of recruiting news. That's what we're here to talk about again. Brand new commit, a defensive back, has joined the 2023 class. Let's talk about who that is what it means for Auburn and him. But before we do that, I always want to remind you to smash the like button if you enjoy this type of content and be sure to make sure you drop a comment down below as you're watching or listening today. It will help enter you into our ongoing subscriber giveaway for a signed Auburn football prize package. Details are listed in the description link. And lastly, I want to thank members of our booster club like Cohen and Donnie who help produce videos like this. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking, Kyle, you just did a video about Tyler Scott and there were a bunch of other commits and signees in between the one that you're about to talk about now yes we haven't forgot about all of those transfers there's just been so much going on we're gonna go ahead and do this one first and get back to those three transfers and signings that we'll be talking about in much more detail in their own thing but for this video the wave continues in like 24 hours there was five commits and additions to the 23 class through high school recruiting through transfers this one a new defensive back being added to the class cj johnson joins the tigers after a very short stint being recruited by the tigers speaking of it being short let's talk about the timeline first about how we got to this point of him committing now he was on the radar of a lot of teams like louisville who was probably one of the favorites at the time before auburn came into the picture really late in the game december 8th is actually when they offered them now there's a reason for why that took so long for him to come onto our radar we'll talk about that in just a second but december 8th is when the offer came in and shortly thereafter about a month later here we are sitting on a commitment from cj johnson the defensive back and now there is reports that he has already signed his letter of intent i've also seen other things saying he won't sign until february Regardless, looks like the guy is locked in. Now let's talk about some of the information that you're probably interested in knowing about CJ Johnson. He hails from Katy, Texas as a three-star prospect out of Pato High School. His measurables are about six foot three, 195 pounds, which projects him very nicely at a safety position. The storylines around this commitment and potential signing are pretty interesting. For the first thing we've already mentioned, that he was part of a humongous wave of about 24 hours of five different commits and signings that were really huge for Auburn and filling some needs that they had, a continued success by Coach Hugh Freeze. The other really cool thing is that this was coming about because of a Wesley McGriff relationship that had already pre-existed when he was at Louisville before before he joined the Auburn staff here. So you have him to thank for bringing this guy into the fold because he clearly wasn't on our radar to begin with. And it's really cool because it sounds like he has already been begun to build a relationship with a lot of the defensive back guys, either commits or guys that are already here at Auburn. Sounds like we've got a really close knit group. And the last thing that I want to talk about in the about this prospect section are the stats that you're probably interested in knowing about CJ Johnson. In 2021, it was his junior year. He was considered a role player at that time, but 2022 is where he really in his senior year started to catch the eyes of a lot of recruiters like Wesley McGriff for his senior year he had 50 total tackles and this also included two fumble recoveries as well you guys know I love talking about the prospects but let's talk more about what it means for this particular guy but also for the Auburn football team and we'll start by looking at the roster numbers for this 2023 class right now as it stands 28 total commits with the majority of those already being signed 21 of those including this one are your traditional high school or junior college commits and signees 17 of those are on the defensive side of the ball seven of those are defensive backs including this one and now with this one three safeties now let's look at what his potential future might be in terms of playing time how quickly that might happen for him Always stress these high school guys, especially that you anticipate them maybe redshirting or having limited time within that eligibility rules of four games where they can compete and not have to burn a year of their eligibility, especially you'll see them probably on special teams. When you look at this room and the depth that there is right now, you've got names like Zion Puckett that are still here. Donovan Kaufman, Jalen Simpson is still in the mix to participate at the safety position as well. Marquise Gilbert, Caden Bridges, and plenty of other names that have even come in part of this class. So the room is pretty full right now. So while I wouldn't anticipate him starting or seeing significant playing time, you might still see them out there at special teams. Very briefly, let's talk about regional stuff. Where did this commit come from? Because it's always important to know 
where we are winning in the battlegrounds. This is the state of Texas. We haven't had one on this cycle. We may have actually already had one that decommitted. I forget though. Either way, the first one currently in this class from the state of Texas. Always nice to go into that big pool of recruiting and pull one out of there to continue to build a relationship and a pipeline into that talent-rich state. And lastly, the defensive back class makeup as it stands right now. Let's dive a little deeper into that. As we stated, there are seven defensive backs in this class right now. Four of those are cornerbacks. So that means we're going to look a little bit closer at these safeties. The three that you have as part of this class are Sylvester Smith and Terrence Love, now including CJ Johnson. And as we already kind of stated, with the depth that's already at the safety position and defensive back as a whole, I wouldn't expect maybe any of these guys to have significant amounts of playing time, but never rule it out. There are names, examples all around Auburn's program and college football of guys getting on the field getting onto Canvas and proving that they deserve to start or just play it all. So there you have it. That's my thoughts on your brand new commit for this 2023 class. CJ Johnson, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments section below. Be sure to do that so you can be entered into our ongoing subscriber giveaway. And hey, make sure you're subscribed because that's part of the process too. Lastly, check out those links in the description for ways you can help support us here at E2C Network, where we share the whole Auburn experience. War Eagle.